I'm Brom Blackhawk Lindsay, current uh, fighter for BYB, and this is my story, guys. Okay, so tell everyone, I'm like, where are you from? I'm from Fort Scott, Kansas. It's a little small town in the Midwest and uh, just grows up, you know, chickens and farm and it's just a Midwest kid, man, you know, country. Gotcha. So how old were you when you first um, like, discovered that you want to um, become one, I'm like, fighter? Man, actually, my dad tells a story about me watching Mike Tyson uh, get ready to fight Buster Douglas. I said, I, I want to be that dude who knocks out Mike Tyson. Well, Buster Douglas beat me to that, but... There's many other men that I, I will love to, to knock out. Um, I'm just a weird kid, man. I started out and, you know, reading Bruce Lee books, you know, no no real background in martial arts at all. And then my dad realized that I had some kind of talent for it. I was 13 years old. And so, like, like at your age right now, do you still think um, that you could actually, uh, do you actually think that you could actually, I mean, actually beat up I mean, Mike Tyson? Well, I'll give Mike Tyson a, a hell of a right hook, bro. I show him what's up, bro. <laughs> I might be, I might, I'm not that big of a guy, but I do hit very, very hard. That's kind of one of my my niches is that I hit really hard. That's why they call me the Black Hulk. And because back in the day, people used to be always mad at him, like, man, if his fight does not last long. Man, my dad was so mad. He was like, man, I just bought this pay per view for ninety seven dollars, and it lasts thirty seconds, son. You better knock this one out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> gotcha. So. How old were you when you first had your, ever your first, I'm like, real fight outside? I was 26 years old for my first structured MMA fight. Now, the story is, is that Rome Lindsay has been doing a little bit of bare knuckle boxing since Pittsburgh, Kansas. Uh, I've been doing uh, backyard and boxing for a very long time, man. And everybody knows that I'm a knockout artist in, in Pittsburgh, Kansas, through Fort Scott, Southeast Kansas. They know that that's what I do. So it's kind of unnatural that I found my home in BYB, baby. BYB. So I'm like, what year did you find on like BYB? So I found BYB actually uh, last year. So crazy thing happened. I was, you know, with the bad guys, BKFC. And they had offered me to fight uh, a short a short notice fight. I took the short notice fight against their number one dude. I, I lost to a body shot. Um, I came back and get ready for another fight, and I had a I got rear-ended. Sixty the dude was going sixty seven miles per hour in a thirty five miles per hour zone. Uh, I had a serious concussion, where the doctors thought I was gonna pass away. Um, I had to relearn how to walk, talk. It's uh, it's kind of a miracle that I'm in here. Uh, breaking knockout records and setting different trends and letting people know that you can't be stopped. If your mindset is that you can't be stopped, that you are invincible, you will be invincible. Gotcha. So, BYB, like how far do you think that, you know, the the whole, I'm like bear, I'm like knuckle, I'm like fist, you know, organization will actually go? Man, you got to think about it. 1885 is when bare knuckle kind of really started dude that's back 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 in the day you know with jack dempsey's the, the, the first jack dempsey not jack dempsey that the boxer jack dempsey was jack nixon the bare knuckle boxer it's two different people so you got to check that stuff out but anyway this is this is well before then this is that's time and what we're watching right now going on in our communities every day is you see bell bottoms on people now i've seen bell bottoms on people's jeans girls wear bell bottoms out history repeats itself so if history repeats itself, then B BYB will be the number one most watched fighting organization in the world. This is entertaining. Where, where else can you get two steps and be right into your opponent's face and the action's right there? Where? Where? Where else, baby? In that trigun. In the mighty triguns where you don't find that. And but, and but I actually believe it's going to be big because, you know, people watching, people getting on like slap every day now. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure people want to see like bare knuckle. Um, you know, like boxing, but like, I want to ask you, you know, right here on the camera, like, I'm like, what you think is the difference from like bare knuckle and actually, you know, boxers and actually wear gloves? Well, how many boxers have tried to transition to, to BYB, bare knuckle boxing, get hit and realize that this ain't for them and they're boxers and they're maybe undefeated. These are some of these guys are undefeated boxers that come over to this sport, get hit with one of these suckers right here and like, okay, that's not for me. Because it's not for everybody.
But what it is is for true athletes that want to step up their game and see what you're really about, take those damn pads off. You're wearing five pounds of pad. That's like if you gave me a club and you told me to beat a man to death, I can do it in one strike. Same ordeal. Your hands is on either that person's face is on a wear out or their hands is on a wear out first. So either way, we're not going to have these long 12 round bouts where people are getting, you know, destroyed for, for, for 12 rounds because they got pads on their gloves. We don't get these lopsided matchups over here in BYB. We get honest matchups here. So we're taking the, the damage out that what we have and bringing it to what is in the forefront right now. We don't have those big injuries that boxing have. We don't have how many deaths has it been for bare knuckle boxing, but how many deaths has it been from MMA, boxing, kickboxing, and other combat sports? This is a safer sport, baby. Gotcha. So I always tell people, you know, they be like, better on a knuckle boxing, you're going to need one on like strong chin. Because if a person you turn that chin right, it oh, lights yeah. out. Yeah, I mean, it's it really is. It really is a sport that's like if you're a, ready to go first or whatever, that's going to make a big difference. So, like, yeah, bare knuckle on, on a, a regular mouth chin, you might go out. You know, it's just, it is what it is. It's a business, man. Uh, we're in the hurt business, so just. It's kind of what it is, man. <laughs> you sign a waiver to come in here and, you know, put your life on the line and to, to grow your legacy as well as your family's legacy. So I just try to bring it every time so I don't have to worry about that situation. Gotcha. And um, this question, um, being in this, you know, I'm like for some years now, I'm like, what do you, I'm like, enjoy most about it? And like, what do you actually, I'm like, dislike about it? The things I dislike about combat sports. I love BYB because they really take care of your fighters. The thing that I really hate about uh, combat sports is that you do you do put your life on the line and then some of these corporations don't actually take you in as family. BYB makes you feel like family. I had an injury after my last fight in uh, January and I have never had a company be like, hey, are you feeling better? You're good. You're ready to get back on the card. When you're ready to go, let's get it. Never had a company do that, dude. I fought for Bellator. I fought for XFL. I've been all over the place, man. I am a, I am a, a name that's been around for a while. I'm Kansas' best known secret. So, you know, but earlier, but you said that you are one on a knockout artist, right? Mm -hmm. So, is it is it one certain? I'm like, is it one certain on a type of type of on a technique? <clears throat> Like that you have to have, but you know, if it knock someone out, like no, either. you just gotta. So, I mean, all you gotta do is rock their head the right way. You know, a one one two knock somebody out. A stiff jab can knock somebody out. All you gotta do is rock their head off the center line hard enough. I mean, I don't feel like it's it's a it's a hard thing to do is to knock somebody out. But you know, setting traps is a hard thing to do. Using the angle is a hard thing to do. Setting up how you come in and out is a hard thing to do. You know, knowing what's coming after you have thrown that one two, knowing that, oh, I put myself on this side of the track, so he's only got one option to throw. Or I moved to this track, now he has two, but he's not gonna hit me with this one, he's gonna try to hit me with this one because this one's closer. It's it really is a sweet science, and if you don't take the time to really go and learn these angles, these guys are coming here and don't take that chance to, to learn those angles and they wanna be straightforward guys, I'll tell you what straightforward guys get. They don't end up on the canvas. That's what a straightforward dude does. You will get hit because you made a mistake, and mistakes will make you pay. Gotcha. So, hey, but how many fights have you ever actually right, lost? So, I was 7-9 and nine as a professional MMA fighter. I was, I am 3-2 uh, and two as a professional kickboxer. I'm 1-2 and two as a professional boxer. I know about wins and losses. That's, 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 that's apparent. But the thing is, is like, do you take out those wins and losses? Did you learn? Did you go back to the gym immediately and, and put the footwork in to try the footwork, try different head movements, see what was wrong? Did you go back and look at your old fights? Was you happy with your last result, even though you won? Because I know I'm not. Because that, that means that, that that's my high point. If that's my high point, how am I ever going to evolve more as a fighter if that's my freaking high point, man? That, 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 no, no, it's not good enough. I will be better. Sorry, I'm just weird. So tell us, actually, actually, I'm like, what's next for you? What's next for me is BYB 28. Uh, tonight, I fight J.D. Burns. Um, we don't get with it, baby. I don't, I don't put no secrets out there just in case it gets leaked too early, but we don't get with it, baby. It, it was not going to get, I'm going to leak that early, but here we go. 
Uh, we come and see it, though. I can't wait to have you guys there. So thank you for having me, and I look forward to more conversations with you guys. You know, I'm also, uh, but last but not least, tell the world, um, actually, actually, I'm like, where can they find you on social media and on everywhere else? I'm Rome Black Hulk, uh, I'm True Black Hulk on uh, Instagram. Uh, my milkshake is Rome Black Hulk Lindsay, and that'll lead you to everything. And you can find me on Facebook, Rome Lindsay, the Black Hulk.